So we got back from our hike, took a shower. I did wash my hair. I did not do anything to it, which is why it's like a frizzy, weird mess where it doesn't know if it wants to be curly, straight, frizzy. I don't know. It has a mind of its own and I just kind of let it do its thing. And we come to terms with it and go to therapy together every now and then and we make it work. But right now, my hair and I are in a disagreement. So it is what it is. We're going to let it be. So we, I came back from my little hike with my dog. This is kind of a shorter vlog day um not because not a lot happened but just because it's been kind of an emotional day i do have my matcha latte now that i can have it and this is the mug that my little brother made for me for christmas and i love it it has like this little panda these are the best gifts um absolutely love it it's my favorite mug but anyway so after my hike with my dog i took my dog to the cemetery to visit um, my best friend who it sounds weird when I say this, like I consider her a stepsister, even though technically our parents weren't married because if you've ever seen my video talking about my family and my dad and his weird situation, my dad has like multiple girlfriends, multiple families, they all know about it, they've agreed to it beforehand, like they're all on board with the life that they live and my best friend slash what I consider stepsister was kind of part of the original herd or group or whatever you want to call it um, where I spent most of my life with her kind of living as my unofficial sister where I saw her every week our families all the holidays like everything were together intertwined and even far after our parents kind of separated um, she was still very much a part of like family events and everything like once you're part of the family you're part of the family and in my mind family is family you can't really put a legal title to it like stepsister I call her a stepsister because that's what she is to me she's a sister to me our families were very much intertwined in the way that a sister would be legally speaking whatever people want to call it but I guess like that's the best way to describe the relationship she was a best friend she was a sister our parents remained very close um, throughout the years. Um, she passed away a couple years ago. Um, she was a couple years older than me, but she was definitely my best friend throughout my entire life through middle school, elementary school, middle school, high school, college, all of it. And um, she passed away a few years ago. It was really hard for me. And she's probably the only person that ever really understood me. Um, I'm like an extreme introvert. I don't have really very many friends. Um, she's probably the only person that I could really consider like a best, best, best friend. Um, I have close friends, but no one will ever really compete to what she was to me. And I lost her a few years ago and it was really hard for me. So I went to visit her, her grave and, uh, you know, just talk to her, which might sound really silly, but I just find it very therapeutic to just talk. Um, it was really hard. So yeah, I took my dog. My <laughs> so I took my dog there, and we got back. I took a shower and kind of just chilling for the rest of the day. It's kind of a lazy Sunday. I did some cleaning, and really outside of that, just <laughs> drinking my matcha and just kind of chilling really the rest of the day so not really much else to say so i am gonna wrap it up here just because it's been kind of an emotional day and i want to have good vibes and positive energy because you know what life goes on and people want us to to go on and be strong and be happy and that's what i want to do so just sharing that you know life is not easy it's hard we all go through things and we don't always show it we don't always tell everyone around us, but we all go through things, but we need to persevere because we are here and we are all in this together and we all need to just do what we can to get through every day. So cheers to that. Happy Vlogmas, vlog number, what, six now? So yeah, thank you so much for watching and feel free to subscribe for more content. If you want to know more about my crazy weird family, Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I have a very bizarre family. I was just talking about my stepsister, but my dad is like poly. He's not married to all of his girlfriends, but he has several girlfriends. He has a lot of kids. I have two gay moms, which are separate from my father. 
I have a ton of siblings. It's a weird, bizarre family. So if you haven't seen my video or you have questions or you're curious about my weird, bizarre life, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will try my best to answer any questions that you may have if you do have any. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.